it is April 8th. It is the uh, eclipse day. And even though we're not gonna see a total eclipse here in Florida, we're heading to the beach and I'm hoping to be pulling in some fish while we're watching the eclipse. So watch this. this concrete from the beach here at Barn Park. And, uh, they're smoothing everything out. Um, I peeked down there. The beach already looks way better without all that uh, under there. So. Awesome job, Flagler County. Thank you. There's nobody here. Pick right where I want to fish. All right, I'm going to get set up. We have the eclipse going on today. Look at that. Like, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there's like a circular rainbow all around the sun. How pretty is that? So cool. And we're doing a time-lapse video of the eclipse. I'm just gonna let that go. We've got two lines in the water. Don't have anything on it, but this one's got fish gum. This one has fish bites. We're gonna get some more lines in the water and see what we can catch. 11 foot surf fishing rod. I'm gonna see how far we can get this. It's only a three ounce weight. I think we got it on the sandbar. Sweet. This to me is not a very good low tide beach. I catch a lot more fish on high tide here, leading up into high tide, but you know what? We're gonna try it. So I'm gonna throw this. It's a Ninja Dagger by Ninja Tackle. It's the eight foot, six inch casting rod. And I'm gonna keep an eye on my rigs. I don't see any birds diving though, so I don't, there may not be a Spanish or bluefish running right now. My last line looks like it's straight up and down. I'm gonna go check that out. Oh yeah, we got something on here. Don't know what it is, but we're gonna get it. Please be a pompano. Okay, yeah, that was... See how I called it, guys? That's a pompano. It's, it's a small one, but classic pompano move. You're gonna see your rod straight up and down. Don't just tighten it, reel it in. There's a fish probably on there. And it's probably a pompano. Let go. There we go. First pompano of the day, but he's gotta go back. Good thing is, where there's one, there's more. So, whoop. Buddy, there you go. Let's see, get on out there. He'll get revived in a second here. Yeah, there he goes. He just needed some deeper water. I had pomp candy fish gum, and then we have shrimp fish bites down there. 13 minutes, I think, to our peak time of the eclipse here in Florida. Not a pompano. <laughs> It's a good whiting though, look at that guy. That guy's a stud. On the fish gum. Came out here using fish gum today. I, even though I couldn't get my hands on the new stuff like I want to, uh, the other, the uh, original fish gum is still working, guys. Well, we got an eclipse whiting. If we didn't get an eclipse pompano. <laughs> nice, look at him. Almost 14 inches, but still, man, that is a nice fish. This is 3.03, I believe this is the moment when the moon has covered the sun about 50%. Oh, that's flags in the way, duh. Okay, just see, I can only look for a second because I don't have the glasses. I know, bad, bad. I shouldn't be doing that. It's only covering us about halfway, but we got clouds too, so it's hard to tell if the darkening of the sky slightly is from the clouds or from the eclipse. Let me give it a shake. I had given these a shake before. And that, after that's when we got that nice uh, whiting. This was kind of an excuse to be able to go fishing because I did hear Pompano being caught down here in our area. But I thought if we could see anything with the eclipse, that'd be cool too. Gonna crack open a cold one here, a cherry Coke Zero. 
I know, I know. It's all bad for me, but it tastes pretty awesome. And it's very, very slack. That is promising. Last time I thought it was a pump, it was... It's a pompano, just still small. Very, very yellow. Looks like coming out of the river on our pink fishing girl float rig that I make. Not a surprise. And uh, we have fish gum on there. So once again, we got fish gum. Catching all the fish today. That's pretty awesome. But did you see that again? The, the line was completely slack. So you've got to watch your line. That's how they hit. They, they hit and they run into shore. Look how pretty that is. I'm gonna throw him toward the Go Fish Cam. Maybe, maybe he'll hook up on the Go Fish Cam. That would be really, really cool. I manufacture our Fish and Girl float rigs. We have these for sale in our store at fishing-girl.com. We make these in five different colors. We have the floats, as you can see, they are right on the hooks. In underwater footage, a lot of times they're sucking in the floats before they're sucking in the hooks in the bait. And the good thing about me manufacturing them is if they're not in stock, I will make more, fill the order, we'll get it out to you right away. So check those out, but now back to the video. It's one big one. Let's see if they got, it's growing eggs. So you know, this sand flea is almost too big to fit around the mouth of a pompano anyways. So I'm gonna let this one go to breed. That one sand flea is gonna be a lot more productive laying some eggs and making more sand fleas than me just using on my hook today. Check out this plane. Very, very cool. Flying really low. I see something nibbling on this one. Come on, take it. Something might be nibbling over there, but no takers yet. I'm taking the camera down, the Eclipse camera. We'll take a look at that footage and see if we got any type of view at all of the eclipse, hopefully something. And I'm gonna drop that right here. but because I have other things to do. I just can't fish all afternoon and evening like I really want to. Oh, that's a good hit. I had a way out there too. This is strong, whatever this is. Oh, uh, I think it popped off. Crap. I paused for just a second reeling. Man, I was cleaning those off. But you know, when you get hit, you just have to go run and get it. I still got adrenaline going because of that hit. That was such a good hit. My goodness. Let's take care of as many things as I can before I have to bring that last line in. Oh, who else does this? Am I the only one or is this what everybody does? Okay, can't put it off any longer. It's now 420. That was a good fish, guys. I really wish I could have brought that in. I have a feeling it was a good pompano. And he popped right off. Or we could just say it was a catfish. We could say it was like this huge hard head. Something I didn't want anyway. Yeah, that's what it was. That had to be. Nibbling fish. Would you commit already? Come on. 